The third factor for developing a literacy component in your intervention system is the need for systematic teaching. In a multi-tiered system of support, instructional services are organized as tiers, with core representing high-quality instruction for all students. The supplemental tier supplements core instruction with small group planned intervention for students who need more help with foundational skills. Intensive support within an MTSS usually entails a more customized delivery of intervention for students who've either not progressed after a reasonable amount of time in supplemental support or whose data shows an immediate need for intensive assistance. Students receiving support in your literacy intervention system need additional instruction. This instruction is intensified by focusing on foundational reading skills, carefully customizing the frequency and duration or dosage of instruction, and organizing instruction so that it is systematic and explicit. Although some recommendations for increasing instructional intensity may be specific for supplemental or intensive tiers, distinction between the tiers are not clear-cut. Educators should think of the tiers as a continuum, varying resource allocation to match learning needs as they evolve and change. Supplemental and intensive interventions focus on foundational reading skills, which include phonemic awareness, decoding, comprehension, and fluency. Supplemental instructional sessions focus on up to three of these skills and are used with students who score below the benchmark cut point or your designated data decision rules. Intensive intervention concentrates on a smaller set of targeted reading skills for at-risk students, including those who show minimal progress after a reasonable time spent in supplemental small group instruction. Regardless of the tier, the reading skills focused on should reflect the appropriate developmental expectations for each grade level. For example, in kindergarten, phoneme segmentation is critical. In first grade, the primary focus is on phonics and comprehension, while in second grade, more difficult phonics skills such as digraphs and diphthongs and fluency with connected text become a priority. In both supplemental and intensive support, it is critical that students receive an adequate amount or dosage of instruction this dosage can be intensified by reducing the size of student groups and increasing the frequency and duration of instruction. Reducing the number of students in learning groups provides them more opportunities to practice new skills and respond to what they are learning. In the supplemental tier of instruction, students typically receive instruction three to five times a week with sessions ranging from 20 to 40 minutes in kindergarten to 40 to 50 minutes for grade two, depending on actual student needs. This should continue for at least 10 weeks to discern which students may need further intervention. You may notice that the guide recommends five weeks, however, our recommendation based on the most current research, is a 10-week period. Intensive literacy intervention provides students with multiple extended intervention sessions. For example, students could receive an additional 75 minutes of instruction per week. Instruction can also be intensified by implementing a double dose of reading time. This does not refer to simply having twice as much reading instruction, however, as this has not been proven to be effective. 
Rather, it refers to breaking a lesson into two 15-minute sessions. In the first session, the teacher introduces skills and then reteaches them with added practice during the second session. When selecting intervention programs, administrators should take care to ensure compatibility with their school's current core reading program. Even more important than compatibility, however, is ensuring that selected programs provide systematic and explicit instruction focused on high priority reading skills. Systematic instruction builds skills gradually, first introducing them in isolation and then integrating them with other skills. Explicit instruction provides more student-teacher interaction, including frequent opportunities for student practice and feedback. Students with intensive reading needs require substantial supports during the initial stages of learning. One form of support involves scaffolding instruction when introducing concepts and skills. Teachers can begin with the easiest task and carefully progress to more difficult ones as students demonstrate facility. Intensive interventions have their own set of tools and strategies, such as diagnostic reading assessments that identify which specific skills most need to be addressed. Based on this data, a mix of systematic instructional strategies is used to meet each student's individual needs. These include adjusting lesson pace and sequence, providing practice and feedback, and teaching to mastery. Research suggests that students receiving intensive interventions might require 10 to 30 times as many opportunities to practice as their peers. These practice sessions need to involve immediate prescriptive feedback and error correction. By correcting student errors when they first occur, it is less likely that errors will become internalized and therefore repeated. Using computer aids and one-on-one -on -one instruction are proven ways for teachers to maximize practice. Students receiving intensive interventions need to demonstrate mastery of a reading skill or strategy by maintaining a sustained 90% or higher criterion of correct responses before moving on to a new challenge. Teachers will need to keep notes or records about how students perform on different reading tasks to ensure that students advance when they are ready.